Hey, my beautiful inspirations. Welcome back. It is precious and we are here with another video. So this time you guys, I'm doing some crochet and I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along on the journey of me getting it done. Now this is kind of like a highly recommended video. I wear crochet quite a bit and I think it was sometime last year I was introduced to a new beauty supply store in my area um, and they had this amazing crochet hair that I fell in love with so I've been using it <laughs> like probably every other time I take my hair out I'm putting that same hair back in and a lot of folks wanted to know where I got that hair from or what kind of hair it was so here we go um, <clears throat> right now i'm just braiding my hair back for my crochet i'm pretty sure we're all you know kind of familiar with the braiding pattern for the crochet now please excuse my camera it does the auto focus and i thought i turned it off apparently not <laughs> so you may get a little blurred moments throughout here but um you should be able to get excuse me a clear image of what we got going on here so we're going to just go ahead through the braiding here. I'm actually going to do straight backs in the front. Then I'm going to crisscross them kind of in the middle to connect them with larger braids in the back. This is my lazy crochet method. Guys, I am like <laughs> super lazy when it comes down to like doing hairstyles that I have to do it myself, number one. Number two, I usually don't plan when I'm going to do my hair. It's like, a, oh my God, I got something to do tomorrow. Let me do something to my hair. Oh, it'll be a good idea if I film this type of thing. So I'm always like trying to rush to get it done because I really don't feel like doing it to be so honest. Managing my hair is such a chore lately. But I definitely hope that you guys enjoy this video. the front portion braided back what I did is just kind of pause really quickly so I could do something to my edges because I like to wrap them up and they take forever to lay down <laughs> so I did use the Murray's edge wax extreme hold this has been my go-to lately um, especially when I'm doing styles like this because eco style flicks up my hair I'm not gonna lie this doesn't do that hot you know of a job like I love the way it holds especially after a fresh wash with some good spritz on it but you know as continuous maintenance to it it I mean by next day is probably gonna, gonna be some clunked up white stuff there so it's really your choice with edge wax so this is what I use just for to for the time being until of course I purchase something else that I you know hear about is the best and i try it out and see how i feel about it it's like i have a love hate relationship with edge tamers or edge controls or gels i just uh i can't seem to find what i want but i'm just gonna slick these little bit of edges on down and then i'm just gonna tie it up so that it can sit i am natural so laying my edges down is not the easiest thing which is why i like to use this got to be glued holding spray to be able to try to tame that and then tie it down for a bit while i finish the rest of the braids here all right so we got the whole head braided here and as you can see, we take the scarf off. The edges are laying down okay. You know, what I ain't like, you got no fresh relax on them. And they, they slayed and laid, but they look good. And then, once again, here are these lazy braids in the back. <laughs> I didn't even bother to, like, part them or anything. I used my fingers to part through my hair. And then I crisscross the braids. 
and braided them down into the larger braids in the back and now i am just gonna crochet the remainder um end of the braid there into the rest of the braids in my head what i would recommend is just getting a um hair needle and thread and sew it down i think that'll be um a lot better because it'll last longer um if you don't do this properly if your braid is too thick you can have like within maybe a week or so where it starts to unravel and you don't want that if you're looking for a long-term style however i'm never really looking for a long-term <laughs> style i switch it up or i might get tired of or it just may be too hot outside and i'm like look i can't do this no more so I don't like anything that I have to do extra or longer or more work to try to take it out. So this crochet braid into the rest of the braid works perfect for me. So here's the infamous crochet hair. I've gotten this from my local beauty supply store and I um, absolutely love this hair. And this hairstyle is raw set. It's a 1B. I think the company name like to be so honest i'm not sure like i've read it and i think it's called um it's by ultra but i i don't know <laughs> you guys don't judge me hopefully <laughs> you guys can take an image of this and kind of look through it and see but right here we're only through one bundle so it comes with three bundles in the pack of hair and this is after one bubble bundle excuse me and separating the hair so typically i don't like to separate it because i don't like it getting too big like it is like this right here for real will be enough for my one head but i did separate it so you guys can see the fullness that you can get with this hair the biggest part of it all y'all the biggest part like just just pause just just hold your breath so once i say the biggest part you can just have a big release of sigh like oh my gosh are you serious girl where let me tell y'all it's only 16 dollars at my local beauty supply store i can't speak for nowhere else i haven't even looked for it online anywhere but if i do find it i'll put it in the description box 16 dollars one pack three bundles in the pack and y'all saw how much that first pack did come on like this is a steal and let me tell you something honey i i be needing to find the cheapest hairstyle that looks cute no matter the occasion if i want to go to a basketball game i can rock the crochet put the half up in the front and the half down in the back if i need to go to church you know i can do the swoop over to the side make it look real classy with some pearls pearls is my favorite but i'm just saying like this hair is amazing so even here i'm just kind of pausing to show <clears throat> excuse me this in my hair right now is two packs right and i've only done the entire back portion and i left my braids out in the front we already laid down the baby hairs i'm just throwing on some accent jewelry and you can see like how this could be the cutest style like come on it cost you nothing and then if you chose to go with this style you've only used two bundles you have a third bundle that you can create another hairstyle with and me i have a um kind of like a drawstring crochet ponytail that i have from i don't know how long ago that i still use to this day because it looks so natural it still looks good and i used it because i had some extra hair left one time for a ponytail so now i have a go-to ponytail that i can use whenever i just need to throw my hair in a pony and you created this style today it's a win-win can't say it can't it isn't and i usually leave my crochet in for a good little minute y'all i was trying to be creative here with these bobby pins i felt so good about finding the silver bobby pins but yeah so <laughs> now i took it out and i am just crocheting the remainder of the hair in and i just want to show you here i don't crochet through the braids um at the top I crochet around the braid so that extra um, hair that you have going into your braid I crochet to that um, so that when whatever way I choose to flip it it's flipped over so you don't see the knots it looks completely natural either way and it's not even crocheted to the actual braid so this is what it's looking like here I've already completed one side and I am working on the other side 
and you can see how you can't see the knots at all which is great I think it's called the knotless method and honestly the knotless method is how I do my entire head because I don't like the crochet to be in like knots in my hair I told y'all when I'm ready to take it out I'm ready to take it out and this is the final look I did some little twist in the front put some cute little jewelry and voila so thank you guys for tuning in